<laughs> did you guys, did you guys do that bear hunt when you were kids in uh, uh, when you were like pre kindergarten at daycare center? No. Like 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 we're going on a bear hunt and yes, there was I, a thing you would crawl a tree and then you would look. I think yeah. you call it crawling a tree. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> you'd, you'd turn the lights off and everybody would yeah. unbuckle their pants. <laughs> Uh oh! Found one! Found one! I found a bear! I found a I found a pink bear! Found a bear! Found a bear! Found a bear! I remember when I when I was in preschool, you know, I was like maybe just four years old, and no one teaches you how to play doctor, but we we actually like when the teacher left the class, we 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 got Gloria something or other, I forget her last name. She she volunteered to take her clothes off, lay under the teacher's desk, and all of the men in the classroom. Well, if you just were remember surgeons. her lawyer's name, we can call it. <laughs> <laughs> For real? I forgot her last name. Gloria, I forgot her last name. Uh, we assaulted Gloria. her. <laughs> Gloria. So she had all of her clothes she off. She took her clothes off, and me and Jeffrey Kim, who was a Korean kid, we, he and I were like the two surgeons. Why do you have to say his race? <laughs> Well, it comes into it comes into play. <laughs> it fucking better. <laughs> You're gonna want to know he was Korean. Uh, yeah. it For, comes what goes into down? Play. <laughs> but like it was like it was just like the kids exploring each other's body. It was totally all right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and this was preschool. Preschool. Yeah, yeah. Where? Yeah. That's good because that yeah that really explained yeah. why we need to know he was Korean. <laughs> It really came into play. He definitely came into play. So anyway, I mean, so I'm fucking Jeffrey Kim, and I mean, I mean fucking him, <laughs> Korean style. Oh, there okay. we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that yeah, makes yeah, sense. Okay. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. And the teacher comes back. I found the Elmers. What the what fuck the is going fuck? on? Here? Stop fucking Jeffrey Kim. Get that out of Jeffrey Kim right now and put it in the. So. Jeffrey Kim starts fucking the teacher. It was fucking. It was. It was way out of hand, man. That was the seventies, man. It was the seventies. I know. My my principal's name was Mr. Fromgen, and uh, and I, I I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay using that name because I would love to go to court and talk about what an asshole he was. <laughs> But he would. He loved drills. He loved uh, like like he, yeah like well, or no no not not power drills. Like he had a he had a hand crank siren, but it was supposed to be mounted. It had screw holes on it. You could see it was supposed to be mounted on a counter. But he would he would walk around going. And Why would he make the noise if he had the drill? Seems <laughs> silly. Ignoring it. Redundant. It's redundant. redundant. Yeah. It's like having a cow and going... The sound that comes out of the thing is so great, too. It's a waste. But there were tornado drills, fire drills, tornado drills, and, and there were bomb in drills. Milwaukee. And bomb drills were funny back then because yeah. bomb drills meant uh, you should grow a mohawk because World War Three is happening. Mm -hmm. Like, the Russians have launched 47,000 missiles. At brown Deer, Wisconsin. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta take out that Brown Deer, Wisconsin. Now it's come full circle where bomb drill means, holy shit, a kid brought a fucking bomb to school. Yeah, yeah. It's, a uh, it's, thing. Not, it's not funny anymore. That, but... The hashtag, the running man, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, well. But he would also, he would take us into the unfinished area or basement of the school and explain to us Turn out like, the lights. whether or not we had survived the tornado or fire or bomb yeah. in question. But the, I remember the beginning to the drills would be like, line up, boy, girl, boy, girl. Like, like, that seems silly. Like the gen gender. These will be your mates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, your job is to repopulate <laughs> the planet. Sperm providers and yes. patty cake makers. <laughs> Will be the foundation of our new society. <laughs> Tornadoes are repelled by glass ceilings. <laughs> Bombs bounce off of them. <laughs> A gender dichotomy will be our new weapon against the mutants. We had to, we we were like two blocks away from the, our neighborhood's tornado uh, siren and in Kansas and. It, it was, it, it was frightening. The screen, the, the sky would turn like green, like legit green, and it would be the stillness, and then the siren would start, and we'd go look at the window, and you, me and my younger sisters, and we'd be like, oh, God. 
and then we'd have to go down, run down the basement. You lived in Tornado World. Yeah, yeah. It was like like the fucking movie that showed on once a year that like where tor- tornadoes were famous in Kansas. It was when horrible. tornadoes were famous. Yeah. <laughs> before <laughs> Twister, new Annie before show. Twister got it. <laughs> Twister snatched it from us when for a little while. When tornadoes were famous, you're yeah. like Archie Bunker. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> hey, now these colored people they got all the headlines. Remember when tornadoes were famous? <laughs> All you had to do was know a few steps to rip up a trailer. Yeah. That was talent. <laughs> now this Sammy Davis, this Nat King Cole. Um, <laughs> Jason, I, did you ever see like an actual tornado, like a twister? No, kind of never. No, no, no. Not, were you were you sad when uh, when that mean old lady took your little dog from you? And, uh, <laughs> No, because I, my sisters wanted the dog. I was, I was a little bit more. Also, I believe you got to, you know, ride the horse in the direction it's facing. I have a very faint childhood memory because I had my great grandpa was from uh, Oklahoma. Yeah, right near you. Sure. Yes. I mean, in Tornado World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, I was like, I have a very, very like, like remote childhood memory of like. You know how when you're a kid you pretend to be asleep to get the free ride to the car like 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 you just like you, you just like, yeah. figured that out like, yeah I wonder if parents know that that like 85 percent of the time a sleeping child is just faking it like 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 do we do we just ever wants to be carried. call them on it but I guess that's like sleep shaming and you don't want to do that either because because part of it you would listen and you would be like uh, the, uh, I remember I would do that at like grandma's house and they go is he really sleeping is he faking and I'd be like fuck you bitch. <laughs> You, you'd think that or say that? I would think that. I wouldn't say it. I'm not, I, I, I'm not, I'm not a Who Frank no Roger way. Rabbit character. Yeah, yeah, I, I, feel I you. didn't have that word power yet. Yeah. I, I was like, I would have been goo goo gaga, yeah. but, but I, was, I was like, I was like, I was like there was, don't you dare, like, like Aunt Susie, don't you dare like, 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 like sleep shame me. I, was, I could be asleep. That's what's important. All you're doing half the time I'm awake, you're at, Hoping I fall asleep. Yeah, all you do is uh, yeah, you, you always do, like complaining about my energy level. I always, like lay down in a sleeping bag and you tell me that I look cute. What do you think I'm going to keep doing? Anything that provides comfort is a potential addiction. Yeah. <laughs> Just roll with it. Get get me in the car. Get me home and shut the fuck. Yeah, up. fucking lame. Like, I, I'm the sack of potatoes you always hoped I'd be. <laughs> So, so much anger. The, the, the angry little child. They p- poured it into me like a sponge. Their anger, not mine. Yours. So you just- All of yours. <laughs> ah! So I, I, I have this faint memory of like being carried. I, I was pretensy sleeping, and my dad carried me through what seemed like a tornado. There was a tor- We went to the tornado cellar. Yeah. Every place in the lower Midwest. Uh, uh, has a tornado cellar. Yeah, yeah. It's not like a special thing like bomb shelters. Mm. Uh, it's like everybody has a tornado cellar. And uh, did, did you guys? We just had a one? basement. We just the, the, our house, the basement was underground, like legit. Right. So I don't, know, I sound I don't mean to brag. I don't mean to brag, but yeah, we, it was uh, fully we, underground. We hid under. <laughs> yeah, like we eight. used to hide under the pool table. <laughs> yeah, you got to make a. You, that's a good way. What do you guys think planet? about that Triangle? that earthquake thing? They go like hide under a thing. It's like isn't that just to create a pocket of air so you die slowly? You're supposed to do it. Uh, find a triangle, right? Yeah. Like You're supposed to find something that won't immediately break by the initial impact of everything above you, but that just means that you'll take days to die. Yeah, I mean. Uh, because either something's falling, either you're where things are falling that much on top of you, right. in which case you're either dead right away or dead in three days. In my, this is my opinion. I hope I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah. But when they say, like, find a doorway, they're like, you know, there's been that cynical joke of that. that's where they look to find you. Right. But I think that there's part of, there's a truth to that where they're saying, like, well, there's air pockets, structural air pockets. And th- that's where people have been for, like, three days. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm somewhat claustrophobic. <laughs> yeah, but that might be that might be a first world problem. That the second you're sort of underneath a bunch of rubble, you'll be like, "Oh, this this is a lot worse than not." <laughs> but like not, saying not existing in the third world. They're like, actually, well, at least my world, boss isn't whipping me. Yeah, third world. It's like the world's the the earth's shaking. This could all turn out better than it was. But they're like snow day. <laughs> I would only like, when we were kids, when it would snow and we couldn't yeah. go to school, we'd run out and dig holes in the snow and yeah. stay in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, so funny. <laughs> the rest of the world is so poor. Uh, when I was a, when Depravity I was, is... When, the, when I was a kid here, I, I don't know if it happens anymore, but when I was a kid, there were smog days where the air quality was so bad, we weren't allowed to go outside and have recess because you would get like a burning, like painful chest... Like it was really, really bad. You couldn't go to like basketball practice or anything. You had to stay inside and not 
ever go outside because the smog was so bad. Yeah. Then, then they took the lead out of the gasoline, and that, I think that stopped. Uh, yeah. That, that's a lie. That's a huge lie. That's very, very a huge lie. I can't. Uh, you know, uh, Sammy Snopes. This is Sammy Snopes. <laughs> I'm Sammy Snopes. That's a huge lie. I love Hitler, and my, I'm orange. I'm Sammy Snopes. Um, are, you, are you? Are you doing Trump? Or I was trying to do Trump. I, I was trying to do Trump, to do Trump but I, I don't have a Trump. Uh, you start with your fire. That makes it, that's like your yeah. you're fired. Yeah, yeah you go, you're, you're fired. You're fired. <laughs> you're fired. 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 I'm Vinny Barbarino. You're Sammy Snopes because I started with you're fired. I'm, you're fired. See, you're, yeah, you leak right into it. Automatically, everyone is agreeing that this is a fantastic Trump <laughs> impersonation. Fired. Fired. I just, you're fired. I just shot. I just shot with Dana Carvey, and he has he has an amazing Trump. Of course, like, like yeah. It's, 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 like he's he has these his impressions are always like that amazing. Like he. What he, does it sound like? I well, I can't. I, if, if but Start with your fire. as with Start his impressions, with if you hear them, then everyone will be doing Trump perfectly because it's well, like well, a George Jason, Bush thing. Yeah. Will and Jason, do you know that Dan does a really good iced tea impression? <laughs> no, does he? <laughs> it's, 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 it's pretty good. Do you, do you want to beat, or you just want to you want to just do it yourself? No, just give me a just give me a topic. I'll uh, I'll, I'll talk about uh, rain shoes. Rain shoes. <laughs> rain shoes. <laughs> like rain boots. Rain shoes. <laughs> yeah. Rain All right, shoes. Listen, man. <laughs> Everything you've been wearing on your feet, shit. <laughs> that ain't shit. New rain shoes? It ain't personal. It's business. I got. I, I kind of lost my momentum. No, that, that was it. It's not. It's not. It's not polite uh, to to make people. The back loved it. They're like, oh shit, another guest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't know that. Yeah. Ice tea's here. Shut the fuck up, Ice tea's here. <laughs> Listen. 